It's time for basketball action on Central Illinois Sports. It couldn't be broadcast to you without these important sponsors. Be sure and patronize them. John Petty and Sons Construction, Great Rivers Bank, Lanham Chiropractic, Logan Ag, Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, Illini Community Hospital, Trash Queen, and PCRE Incorporated in Auction Service. Geared up, Damon Plumbing, State Farm Insurance, Rod Prentice, also Cascom, the City of Pittsfield, Carnes Communication, Fresh Yours on You in Camp Point, Pittsfield Church of the Nazarene, New Wester Grain, Gary Harris, your Edward Jones representative, Nucci's, and the Brood Coffee House, FBFM, Westtown Ford in Jacksonville, Niebuhr Funeral Home, First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Real Knit and Twine, Bowlers Universe, the Pike County Express, the Ty Rylander Run, Pike County Concrete, and LSSD Trucking, the Moose Lodge 420, also Pike County Lumber Company, Abney Home Improvement, Pike Feeds. Also sponsors are Refreshment Services Pepsi and County Market. Along with them, we have Matt Hughes, your channel seedsman, Farmer State Bank of Camp Point, Hamilton Funeral Home, Helena Ag, Jersey's Bar and Grill in Camp Point, Williams Auto Sales, the Rustic Market and Kelly Crop, Griffin Signs in Time, TJ's Trucking Service. Those are our sponsors for tonight's game. Now let's go courtside to the guys and the broadcast. Well, good afternoon to you. Welcome to high school basketball action on Central Illinois Sports, live from the 75th annual Macomb Western holiday basketball tournament at Western Hall and tonight's quarterfinal matchup between the Liberty Eagles and the Camp Point Central Panthers. Good afternoon slash early evening to you. I'm Charlie Holt. John's alongside as well. It's the Great River Spank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. The Camp Point Central Panthers enter the contest with a record of 5-5 five and five on the season, but one of those five on the left side came against this 10-1 and one Liberty Eagles squad, and it's not hard to figure it out. One loss, it came to Camp Point Central. Liberty wants to play this one again, don't they? Camp Point Central saying, hey, let's beat them twice in a row. And if you were wondering, when the Winchester Tournament kicks off in a couple weeks, they'll be playing each other at 9 o'clock in the morning. So there's lots of fun, a good rivalry here, and two quality programs with two of the best coaches in our area going head-to-head -head for a chance to play in the semifinals of this 75th annual Macomb Holiday Tournament here today and tomorrow. So lots of fun action and things brewing in this contest. We're on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. We'll step aside to hear from some of the sponsors helping to bring this game to you on Central Illinois Sports. We'll recap what's happened so far in the tournament and talk more about this matchup between the Panthers and the Eagles after this on Central Illinois Sports. You had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house, Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. At Western Illinois University, limits are meant to be pushed because the best change happens when people think in new and unexpected ways. At WIU, you'll experience a world where your presence matters, where your ideas take flight, and your determination opens the door to possibility. At WIU, we create a world that's brand new. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, so you know what that is. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. So. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. 
Pike County Glass has been outfitting homes and businesses with high-quality windows and doors since 1952. We'll work with your schedule and budget to ensure your project is done in an affordable and timely manner. Our team is happy to travel near or far to install your door or window project. Did we mention we also replace auto glass? Please come and see us at 1071 West Washington Street, Pittsfield, or call 217-285-4275 for all your glass needs. Back with you on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show with locations in Pittsfield, Barry, and Liberty. Great Rivers Bank is here to serve the entire region with high-quality banking services close to where you live. Learn more about their services at greatriversbank.bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Well, the Liberty Eagles, well, they, they rolled yesterday, to be real honest with you, over the Illini Bluffs Tigers 50-19. to This Camp Point Central squad beat Canton 65 65- to 52 and those two teams Canton and Illini Bluffs matched up earlier today Illini Bluffs got the better of that contest in overtime 44 43 and they'll move on they'll actually meet up with Brown County tomorrow morning in the consolation semi-final other games that have happened so far today uh, Brown County did defeat Illini West 53 46 Monmouth Roseville was a winner over Weathersfield 63 45 Abington Avon just finished defeating West Hancock 41-39. There's this quarterfinal contest. It will be followed at 6.30 by Farmington and Rockridge at 8 o'clock. Pittsfield and Macomb will play in a game that we'll bring to you. And then the 9.30 contest is Eureka and Lewiston in the final semifinal, or uh, quarterfinal, excuse me, on the championship side of the bracket. And then we'll do it all again tomorrow as the uh, final day of the 75th Annual Macomb Tournament will come into play. It goes by quickly. We've seen a lot of good games today on the Constellation side. Time to get to the right side of the bracket. That is opposite of left, not necessarily the correct side, but the right side of the bracket. And these two teams uh, yesterday really proved, John, that they should be here. They both really did, Charlie, and uh, I thought Liberty was the most impressive team we saw yesterday. Um, Camp Point shot the ball better than uh, anyone in the history of basketball yesterday, possibly. Not quite, but it was pretty impressive the way that they shot the ball, especially for a 9 a.m. game, as sometimes those 9 a.m. games end up being uh, first one to 20 wins because uh, nobody is quite awake yet. And uh, Camp Point came out and really shot the lights out. And, uh, I mean, I think that's the kind of team that they can be and the kind of way that they can shoot. And uh, that's definitely, I would think, how they, uh, they beat this Liberty team the one time that they have. I would agree with you that Liberty definitely uh, was the most impressive team that we saw play yesterday. I think, you know, if they're up playing up to the top of their capabilities, they could win this tournament. I think Camp Point Central could win this tournament at the top of their capabilities. And I think we're really in uh, in store for a really good contest between these two teams here this afternoon. Um, you know, I mean, you take a look at the game that Liberty uh, fell to Camp Point Central. It was a, a lower scoring game, which really neither team minds scoring more they both have the ability to score but it, it's pretty interesting that they were able to do so can't point defeating liberty when you consider just the overall length that this Eagles squad has and how that matches up against camp point central who really only has just a little bit of size in dickhood and Genenbacher. that's basically it when it comes to any kind of big men so you think about it you've got a guy like a robbins or a Brighton Klingle, maybe even a Clayton Obert, who's guarding one of your guards, and that makes it pretty tough to shoot over the top of. Speaking of Clayton Obert, uh, a guy who we talked about a lot yesterday, and then he really performed well, so thanks, Clayton. That's good when those kind of things can happen. Um, he, he's a guy that kind of makes this team go. Didn't get all the accolades that some of the other players get, but he's a very important part of this team for Liberty. Yeah, he really makes things go for them. He is the guy that uh, really – Gets into the kind of the uh, the gritty places and uh, knocks the ball away. He he may not even get the uh, may not get the steal because he's the guy that knocks it away and doesn't get the ball to be uh, the guy to get the steal. But uh, he is definitely the guy that makes an awful lot of things go for them. He's kind of their settling force, I feel like, and uh, and he really uh, really makes them as good as they are. It's the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Just on a little under 12 minutes away from the starting lineups and the tip-off of this contest, Liberty and Camp Point Central. For you here on Central Illinois Sports. 
Camp Point Central Sports are proud to have Dew Wester Grain as a sponsor of this broadcast. Dew Wester Grain, there for you for all your grain and feed needs. Why don't you give them a call and check out all the locations of Dew Wester Grain. With locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Dear Wester Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DearWesterGrain.com. The caring and experienced professionals at Hamilton Funeral Homes are here to support you through this difficult time. We offer a range of personalized services to suit your family's wishes and requirements. You can count on us to help you plan a personal, lasting tribute to your loved one. And we'll carefully guide you through the many decisions that must be made during this challenging time. You're welcome to call us at any time of the day, any day of the week. Visit our funeral home in person or on the web at HamiltonFuneralHome.com. Call 217 593 60 for all of your commercial and residential trash pickup needs, call Trash Queen, serving Pike, Scott, and Morgan Counties with affordable residential trash service and roll-off dumpsters. We're proud to be locally owned and operated and want to earn your business. Give us a call to find out just how affordable our rates really are. Call Trash Queen at 217-320-4320. That's 217-320-4320. Or check us out on Facebook. Trash Queen, our business is picking up. Call Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full-service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at gobestsystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. B&R Heating and Cooling HVAC Service is the best local choice. Phone 217-285-2856. They offer all types of HVAC services on all units. B&R can also service commercial refrigeration units, freezers, coolers. B&R Heating and Cooling HVAC Service. If you're not, they make you cool. Right now as we head to winter, get your heating units checked out. 285-2856. B&R Heating and Cooling in Pittsfield. Back with you on Central Illinois Sports and the Great Rivers Bank pregame show, the 10-1 Liberty Eagles, the 5-5 Central Panthers matching up in this quarterfinal game of the 75th Annual Macomb Holiday Basketball Tournament. The teams out on the court getting their <laughs> warm-ups underway here this evening and uh, glad to be with you on Central Illinois Sports. And You know what? Uh, when you take a look at a team like Liberty, John, the thing that makes them really difficult to defeat is the fact that Greg Altmix just keeps fresh legs on the floor at all times. And, you know, for a tournament structure like this, that really pays off for a team like Liberty. Yeah, yesterday, uh, what, they rotated probably through at least, I, I know at least 10, probably as deep as 12 guys. Um, you know, not everybody's getting equal playing time in that 12-man rotation, but... Uh, you know, even if that means that all of your starters sat on the bench for, you know, five minutes total in the game, that's five minutes less on their legs by the time they get to the end of the game. And uh, and they play such a high level of defense that uh, that those those five minutes of resting can really be a big deal. You take a look at this Camp Point Central squad, uh, you know, Nick Moore, we've talked a lot about him, a sophomore who's just really stood out already as a, uh, a kid who looks like one that's going to be very, very good in our area for the next, you know, uh, two and a half seasons yet. Um, but if you really look at why Camp Point Central, and five and five, you can kind of, I think, throw the record out of it. I mean, if, they, if they're if they playing at the top of their ability, they can play with anybody in the area. Uh, but why they are, you know, a real threat to a team like Liberty, you got to look at the sideline. James Barnett does a really good job for them. Yeah, he really does, Charlie. And, uh, he, you know, he had uh, some good coaches as he was coming through to, uh, to learn some things from and uh, – I mean, I really feel like he has also taken the things that he learned from uh, from a guy like Todd Plattner and then has really added to it, expanded it out. You know, this is not a, uh, a traditional Todd Plattner type team where they're going to, you know, try to keep the game in the 30s. Um, I'm not sure against Liberty that they want the game in the 60s, but uh, but they're also a team that's uh, certainly willing to get out and run and, uh, and score some points. 
It's the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Applying for a loan, it's never been easier than it is with our friends right now at Great Rivers Bank. Learn more about their online loan application by uh, going online to greatriversbank.bank. That's greatriversbank.bank, number FDIC, and equal housing lender. A time out here, we'll take a look at keys to the game next. Adney Home Improvement is a family-owned company with Christian values. We have a passion for helping our customers find the best products at a great price. We understand making a large purchase of windows and doors for your home is a big investment. Our mission is to be completely upfront with you. We have built our business on trust and reputation. We depend on our customers to refer us to friends and family for their home improvement needs. Call 573-221-0886. We finish what we start with quality for you. Adney Home Improvement's 100% satisfaction is what we build our business on. Pikeland Motors, located on the east side of the square in Pittsfield, is the place to go for your next new or used vehicle purchase. Plus, they have great service after the sale. Call Pikeland Motors at 285-2196. And after your trip to Pikeland with that new vehicle, head on down to the Riverbank in Florence. Great steak night every Thursday night. The drinks are cold, the food is hot at the Riverbank in Florence, on the banks of the Illinois River, and sometimes in it. Thanks to Doug Daniel and Riverbank and Pikeland Motors for sponsoring tonight's broadcast. If you're near retirement or thinking about retiring, you probably have questions. How do you make your savings last? How much should you take out and when? You're ready for retirement, but are your finances? Your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Derek Harris, can help you build a strategy to help your finances keep up with your needs over the long haul. You've done what it takes to get there. Now it's time to make the most of retirement. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois for a face-to-fact appointment. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. It's time to say Pepsi, please, at your local county market. Refreshment Services Pepsi and County Market, your best value for delicious drinks to get ready for every game. Stop by your local county market to pick up your favorite Pepsi products today. Stock up for your next family get-together. Refreshment Services Pepsi and County Market for the best price around on all your Pepsi products. You love them and they've got them at County Market. Stop by today and say Pepsi, please, at your local County Market. Welcome to the city of Pittsfield, a great place to call home or a great place to visit as a home away from home. With our many locally owned businesses, great variety of restaurants, historic sites and recreational opportunities, there's truly something for everyone. While visiting, make sure to check out Lake Pittsfield for great fishing, boating, and camping opportunities, and check out the Disc Golf Course. Mayor Gary Mendenhall and the citizens of Pittsfield are excited to see you on your next visit to Pittsfield, Illinois. Back with you on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Keys to the game in this contest. First of all, for Camp Point Central, John, they've got to shoot the three ball well. I mean, I, I don't think that's a, a big surprise in this contest, especially against Liberty. You're not going to get a lot of looks in the post. Um, and, you, and you've got to, you've got to when you shoot those threes, be really, really aggressive on the offensive glass. I thought Liberty did a great job yesterday of really boxing out hard all day long. Everybody on the floor boxing out hard. And uh, and that's going to be a challenge for, for Camp Point Central because they are already outsized, and then Liberty also does that so well. Uh, on the uh, Liberty side of things, you know, I think a lot of it is, is just don't get complacent. Also, don't be too tight in this contest. you got to find the happy medium. It'd be like, you know, have that confidence but not cockiness. You know, you want to come out and win this game because Camp Point Central beat you. I mean, I think there's a little bit of a chip on your shoulder because of that. But as Greg Almix pointed out, they're going to play again at the Winchester Tournament. And then he said, and thank goodness, then we don't play again in the postseason because that, that's just too many times in one year. But uh, Liberty's going to come out with fire, but not so much that this is, you know, the, the biggest game they've played of the season. Yeah, and I, I feel like they're uh – They've got a lot of, uh, of leadership, a lot of guys that have kind of been there because they've got several guys who have played varsity since their freshman, sophomore year. And so I can't imagine them getting in that mindset, but uh, you never know, uh, they're still high school kids. It's Liberty and Camp Point Central in this quarterfinal matchup on Central Illinois Sports. A final break on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. We uh, tip it off next. Did you know that PCRE Real Estate and Auction now offers a full-service auction alternative? Farmland, residential real estate, commercial real estate, estates, guns, antiques, farm equipment, and commercial equipment are a few examples that the experienced auction team is ready to assist you with. Our team can make the auction experience less stressful and smooth. Check out our next auctions at our new auction location at 500 Piper Lane in Pittsfield or call 217-430-2985 and speak with Jason Duke to learn more. 
TJ's Truck Service is proud to serve the area with a complete truck hauling service. They offer grain, rock, fertilizer, seed, and liquid fertilizer hauling for you. TJ's Truck Service Incorporated would like to wish the Panthers a safe and successful season and recognize the senior boys and coaching staff for their leadership and hard work. TJ's Truck Service Incorporated for the long haul and the short one too, 217-617-6667. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. See. Time to meet the starting lineups. First of all, for Liberty, they're the visiting team. Greg Alt makes his squad as 10 and 1 on the season. They'll start at a guard, a 6'1 senior, Clayton Obert. At a second guard, the 5'11 senior, Cannon Wolf. And the third guard, the 5'9 senior, JT Tenhouse. Out of forward, a 6'4 senior, Brighton Klingel. Then at the other four, the 6'6 six, six senior, Devin Klauser. Klauser, Klingel, Robin, or excuse me, Wolf, Obert, and Tenhouse. Robbins will see him off the bench as we did yesterday he really gave them some good energy central is five and five on the season under head coach james barnett they'll start at a guard a five nine junior briar wiskirken at a second guard the five seven sophomore drew paben and at the third guard the five nine sophomore nick moore got a forward a six foot three inch junior isaac Gittenbacher, and at the other a forward the six four senior keaton dickhoot dickhoot Gittenbacher, paben wiskirken and moore for Camp Point Central. Tonight's broadcast brought to you in part by Trash Queen, our Trash Queen scoreboard sponsor. Serving Pike, Adam Scott, Morgan, and the surrounding area with residential and commercial trash pickup and roll-off dumpster services. They have 10-yard, 15-yard, and 20-yard roll-off containers. 217-320-4320 for Trash Queen. Liberty in the visiting red uniform. Central in the home whites. Deku jumps against Clouser. The tip is up and controlled by Liberty. Wolf has it on the wing, passes it in the paint to Klingel, kicks it on the right side, now Tenhouse off the Clouser screen. Gets it to Devin Clouser. they kind of dare him to shoot it out there. He's not much of an outside threat, is the big man, but man, he does a nice job attacking the glass. Here's Obert on a little dribble drive move, pull up, jump shot, won't fall. Rebound loose underneath. Obert has it tied up along with Gennebacher. Alternating possession arrow favors Camp Point Central, and the Panthers will be on the attack for the first time. Length of the court to go. Moore gets it on the inbounds. It's a little full court man pressure to Ginnebacher into the front court. Back out front to Moore. They'll be on a man in the half court as well. Just underway in the first period after Central turned Liberty away on their first attack. Here's Ginnebacher, spins free, turnaround shot won't fall, and the rebound pulled down by Klingel. He'll work it to Tinhouse, deep in the corner of Wolf. Tried to pass it in the post. Ball tip stolen away. Turnover on Liberty is their first. Wiskirkin now has the ball knocked free. It's loose. Bodies on the floor after it. Good hustle by Wolf, but his arm was touching the sideline, so it will stay with the Panthers here. 7.05 left first quarter. No score in the early going of this one. Don't expect it to be an extremely high-scoring contest, do you? I don't. I think both teams are going to defend very well and know one another pretty well to know who the shooters are, and what everybody's role is on the opposite team, just as well as their own. Get him, Bacher, a lob over the top to Moore. And he's going to be fouled by Obert. Obert just didn't move his feet quite quick enough. His first team first against Liberty. It's going to be ball out of bounds underneath the basket to uh, Camp Point Central. Dickoot will be the man to throw it in. The 6'6 senior to get him, Bacher, out top Haven. Deep in the corner, it goes to Moore. Hand in his face, so he couldn't get the three off there. Obert, you see, draws him on that defensive assignment. Moore now between the circles. Right side, Wiskirken. Nearly lost his footing. Maintains his balance. Pulls it back out to Dickoot. 6.32 to play in the first. No score on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Dickoot, ball handoff to Wiskirken. He'll pull up for a jump shot from 15. No good. And the rebound down to Wolf for the Eagles. Cannon Wolf brings the ball into the front court on the left side. Around the horn it goes to Obert, top of the key. He'll pass it down in the paint to Wolf. Shot up, won't go. 
And the rebound to the Panthers. Gennenbacher, both teams a little cold in the early going. Deep in the corner, it goes to Pabin. Two minutes into this contest, and there's no score so far. But there is an offensive foul going to be called against Camp Point Central. That foul is uh, Pabin. Going to go against Pabin, his first. I, I just was, it was slow on the board. That's who I thought it was on, but Pabin's first team first against Camp Point Central. Here's Tenhouse penetrates inside. His runner won't fall. Rebound down to Pabin. He'll turn and push toward the front court. Now retreat and give the ball to Wiskirken. Out top, Moore. Moore directing some traffic. Once again, a Bacher to come out front. He draws Klingel on the defensive side. That's two pretty good big-bodied athletes going right at one another there, isn't it? It is. Here's a pass now by Wiskirk, and it's going to go in the backcourt. Be over and over and Ooh, back. Yep. Yeah. It, it was, it was a just bit. a really slow call. Yeah, it was a delayed call. Two turnovers on Camp Point Central, <coughs> and we're still looking for those first points of this contest with 5:28 to play in the opening quarter. I was pretty certain it was not tipped, but this is what it looks like when two teams know each other fairly well. It's kind of hard to run what you want to run. Now, Clouser with a nice shot fake. He'll put up a little runner, won't go. Liberty getting the shots where they want them. Put back by Klingel, no good. But a foul going to be called on the floor, and this is going to be Pabin's second. Yeah, I think he's going to. Oh, he did call it on Pabin. His second, team second. I'll just not argue with you, Yeah, Carl. if you just not think and listen, you'd be better <laughs> off, right? Robbins comes into the game. He'll sit down. Clouser on the other side. We see uh, Dylan. Shanholzer come in for the first time as Pabin takes a chair. 5.18 to play in the opening quarter. Inbounds pass, a lob out to Klingel. Now Robbins. Now he can shoot it out there. You've got to respect him on the perimeter. Klingel to Wolf. Shanholzer are a little longer body than Pabin. Yeah, he shot it pretty well yesterday, he too. Did. Gave him good minutes off the bench. Here's a pass on the interior to Obert. He'll uh, muscle his way up through the contact and give Liberty a 2 0 advantage. First points of the game come at the five-minute mark. Into the front court. Now Wiskirken drives the length of the court. And it took a while for the two teams to get points, but didn't take it that long for an answer from Camp Point Central. And we're tied at two as Wiskirken has his first bucket of the contest. Two all. 440 to play in the first. Everything's contested right now for both teams, and that makes it difficult. Left wing Obert passes down. Ooh, what a nice find to Wolf, who puts it up and in for two. And makes it a 4-2 Liberty advantage. Back to that two-point lead once again for the Eagles. A really good find that time from the wing from Obert. He really can do it all. Smart player. Wiskirk and now drives. Had the ball knocked loose. Run down by Ginnebacher. Penetrates. Kicks to the wing. Shanholzer three. Good. He was hot from three yesterday. And he knocks that one home. And gives Camp Point Central their first lead. 5-4 at the 4.05 mark of this first quarter. Wolf on the bounce in the front court. Not a lot of full court pressure either way so far. Liberty kind of in that full court man at times. Now Robin's going to go to work in the paint. He'll go right around his man and in for his first bucket of the night and give the lead right back to Liberty. Central wants to push into the front court in the hands of Moore. 6-5, Eagles on top with 3.40 to play in the first. Kennebacher with it on the baseline, Dickoot. He'll pull it back out now. It goes to Wiskirken. To Moore. A little more methodical on the pace on this trip for Camp Point Central. Wiskirken in the corner. Free throw line to Ginnebacher. Back out Shan Holzer for another three. It's short. And the rebound. A holding foul going to be called. I think this is going to go against Logan Robbins. I believe it will. Uh, Ginnebacher yeah. was really fighting for it. It will be a foul on Robbins. It's Logan Robbins' first foul. The team's second, and we get to the uh, media timeout. 3.18 to play in the first. It's a 6-5 advantage for Liberty on top of Camp Point Central as you watch high school basketball on Central Illinois Sports. Since 1921, Farmer State Bank of Camp Point has been a vital part of our community's history. We are proud of our growth, our community leadership, and our success, which is only possible because of all those who share this journey with us. We are grateful to the generations of loyal customers, families, businesses, employees, officers, and directors who have shaped not only our story, but our entire communities. Thank you. We look forward to serving you and your future generations for the next 100 years. Farmer State Bank and Camp Point, together we are a strong, united community. 
When you're ready to make your dream kitchen a reality, find inspiration at Pike County Lumber in Pittsfield. It starts with a 3D design so you can see your kitchen from every angle. Each detail, from the flooring to the countertops to the cabinets, are designed for your lifestyle. The team will explain the strengths of each product so your finished kitchen will last for generations. Whatever your needs, an island for entertaining, no maintenance quartz countertops, storage for all your seasonal items. From start to finish, trust the knowledge and experience at Pike County Lumber. Did you know that Prairie Land FS doesn't just sell seed? They treat it and box it right here at one of their local facilities, then deliver it to your farm or fields. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. 318 to play in the first. It's a 6-5 advantage for the Liberty Eagles. The Camp Point Central will have the ball out of bounds underneath their own hoop following the media timeout. I was called on Robbins for Camp Point Central. We see Knuffman's into the contest for Liberty, and Klauser is checked back in as well. Genenbacher gets it in the post against Klauser. Klauser holds his ground, blocks the shot. Rebound is run down by Robbins. Robbins will push into the front court all the way down and too high that time for Obert, a turnover on Liberty, their second of this affair. Robbins had a good idea. He just pushed a little too hard. Yeah, Liberty doesn't mind pushing the tempo, though, in the uh, transition game at all. A little full-court man pressure here again by the Eagles. Ginnabacher gets it on the inbounds now to Moore. He's full speed ahead into the front court, has a three-on-two, drives the lane, down low to Dicku. Dicku to pull it back out with Skirkin, right wing, three ball on the way, short. Rebound is run down on the offensive side by Moore. He'll pull up for a free-throw line jumper. It won't roll through, and Robbins has another board for the Eagles. He'll turn and take it into the front court to Knuffman. Right side over, dribble drive in, shot fake, and he traveled. Could not hold the pivot foot, and the third turnover by the Eagles now. Here comes Wolf back into the game. Ten House will sit down for Liberty. They have a 6-5 advantage with 2.38 to play in the first quarter. Over went to pause to let those two defenders fly by, and he just couldn't quite pause. Whiskerkin gets the ball. He'll look to bring it up against the man pressure of Wolf. Now hands to Moore. Obert has that uh, one foul. You know, Moore would like to drive at him, see if he could get that second. Now Moore drives the lane. A beautiful pass down low to Dickhood, who puts it up and in for his first two. And Central retakes the advantage. Third lead change as the Panthers lead 7-6. Moore really does so many things well with uh, scoring and then sometimes not having to score and find somebody else open. Here's Wolf on a drive toward that left side. It's what he likes to do, and he does it well again. He's got four. And back and forth they go here in the early going already four lead changes in this ball game. 8-7, Eagles now. Those darn left-handed shooters are uh, tricky, aren't they? Yeah, Wolf is, uh, I mean, obviously left-handed, and he gets to that side quite a bit. He's so quick, though, even though people know it's coming, they can't stop it. Right wing, Wiss Kirkin with the basketball for Camp Point Central. They'll work it out to Ginnabacher, kind of an awkward shot. Robbins has his third board off the miss. Into the front court comes Liberty, trying to expand on this one-point lead. Left side with it is Klauser on the wing, Wolf, between the circles to Knuffman. Knuffman holds it there, looking for a double screen out front. Throws it up for grabs for Klauser. He'll put it up, shot way off the mark, and the rebound pulled in by Moore. He'll dribble through traffic here, 110 to play in the half, or the quarter. Down low to Ginnabacher in transition. He'll put it up and in for two. And the Panthers back on top. 9-8, Camp Point Central. And now as Robbins presses the issue the other way, we'll get a blocking foul against one of the Panthers. It'll be on Wiskirk, and that'll be his first team third against Camp Point Central. It'll be ball out of bounds underneath the basket to Liberty. Powell, Moss, and Klingel into the contest for this Liberty team. Paben checks back in. He's got two fouls for yeah. Camp Point Central. Inbounds pass comes in, shot up by Powell, won't fall, and then he commits a foul on the rebound. Glad to see Powell doing okay after twisting an ankle yesterday. Yep, his first foul, the third team foul, a minute to play in this first period. 9-8 is the Camp Point Central advantage, and they're on the attack. This is their largest lead of the contest, this one-point lead. They've had it several times as we've gone back and forth here in the first period. Gennenbacher gets it to Moore out top. He directs some traffic. Again, if you didn't know it, you wouldn't guess Moore was only a sophomore. And that's with a freshman shortened season due to the COVID season. Pretty impressive. 35 ticks to play in the first. 
Here's where your shot clock people come into play. You wouldn't be able to do this with that 40 or 45 second shot clock. You'd almost be able to do it though. But this is one of those rare times that you're going to actually see, as long as they don't turn it over, a possession last that long. Here's Whisker, and he'll put up a three. It's an air ball. It will go out of bounds, and a Liberty will have a length of the court to go with quite a bit of time left, 17.2 seconds. I thought Powell could have gotten a holding foul there as uh No, it's called boxing out. Well, no, I understand, but... You can no? keep boxing out. The man can try to okay. fight through you. Quite uh, honestly, true. he fights through you, though. It's a, it's a foul on him. Yeah. Liberty's one of the few teams that boxes out still. They, they do box out extremely well and very hard, and everybody does it. And that's with good size. I mean, you know, it's not like there are a bunch of little guys out there and have to do it, you know. They could probably just jump up and get it. Nine seconds to play in the quarter. Most of the teams that have to do it don't. Tinhouse with it. Has a pass tip right back into his hands. Gets it to Obert on the wing with two. Skips it across. Robbins, three. Buzzer, good. From downtown, Logan Robbins with the tray. He's got five. And with that, he gives Liberty the 11-9 advantage at the end of this first quarter. A dandy contest here at McComb. 11-9, the advantage for the Eagles over Camp Point Central. Back after this. Welcome to Westtown Ford, serving Central and West Central, Illinois. When you're shopping for a new vehicle, we believe you need a comfortable ambiance, dynamic selection of vehicles, competitive options for financing, and high-quality service to feel confident and stress-free throughout the car buying process. At Westtown Ford, you will find just that, a great selection of Ford models and a team that will make the process as smooth as possible. Westtown Ford Lincoln in Jacksonville, just 30 minutes away from high prices. Illinois Community Hospital is committed to providing high quality specialty care close to home. We are pleased to welcome Dr. William Severino, urologist, and Dr. Mark Mount, ear, nose, and throat physician, to the consulting physician clinic team at the Castile Center. Specialty care is also provided for orthopedics, cardiology, podiatry, obstetrics, oncology, and more. Learn more by visiting IlliniHospital.org or call 217-285-2113 extension 3950 to schedule an appointment. Well, Logan Robbins beat the buzzer. He's made the only three-pointer in this contest now and has given Liberty an 11-9 advantage here after a single quarter of play. And they're Eagles looking to two also, for one. Yep, they'll also get the basketball to start the second quarter. So it uh, could be a big swing here instead. Oh, no. The ball was tipped, so it is out of bounds. It will stay with Liberty underneath their basket. Liberty has led by two several times. Central... By one several times, and by several times, I mean we've had six lead changes already. But just one tie, that was a two points apiece. Inbounds pass comes to Robbins, he'll lay it up and in. He's come off the bench with really good energy so far. He's got seven in a reserve roll and gives Liberty a four-point lead. 13-9 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. And ooh, a near turnover. Central lucky that one didn't get picked off. Wiskirkin on the dribble into the front court. To Pabin, now Moore, joined out there by... Eiler, and the fifth man is Ginnebacher, who's got it out top. The Pabin left side playing with those two fouls. Pabin trying to get free of the defender and Wolf, close to five here. Back out to Wiskirk. And Liberty really sound on the defensive end in the half court right now. Ginnebacher out top. Left side over to Pabin. Just underway in the second period, 13-9 advantage for Liberty. In the corner, Wiskirken with the tray. His shot just not falling so far this evening, but Gennebacher runs down the offensive board. Pavin now to Moore out top. Moore looks to the sideline. James Barnett calls out the new play call for the Panthers. Right wing Eiler in the corner, Moore. Surveys the floor. A bounce pass to Gennebacher. Back to Moore. Right side three. It's long, and Robbins with a rebound. All trying to find their range right now, aren't they? Pushes into the front court to Obert, off the window in transition. Shot no good. Pabin, the smallest guy on the court with the rebound for Camp Point Central. He's, in He's a into a double team, needs some help, trouble. and James Barnett will call the timeout. We'll pause as well, 6.23 to play in this first half. It's a 13-9 advantage for Liberty on top of Camp Point Central. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You've heard that phrase many times in Rod Prentice in Pittsfield. Your State Farm agent is the guy you can count on to be your friend and neighbor in the insurance business. He has a complete line of insurance available for you from State Farm Insurance. You can reach him at 217-285-6930. Our family trusts Rod Prentice with all of our insurance needs. Stop by their office on Washington Street and see the girls in Rod Prentice, your State Farm agent, 217-285-6930. 
Six minutes, 23 seconds to play in the first half. It's a 13-9 advantage for Liberty. Camp Point Central took the timeout as Pabin was caught in the backcourt with a trap from uh, a couple of guys who just were a hair bigger than him. Here's the ball now stolen away as Tinhouse takes it out of the air. A turnover on Camp Point Central as their third. He'll work it to Wolf, right side three, no good. That's not been a forte for either team so far. And the rebound to the Panthers. Into the front court more. The issue with that is Camp Point Central really needs the three ball. Whereas Liberty, I mean, they'd like to hit some. Here's a shot by Wiskirk in the corner for three, no good. Eiler has the rebound. Now it's stripped, and Klingel comes out of the scrum with it. They work it to Tinhouse into the front court left side. On the wing to Robbins. Thought about the three for a moment. It would be a deep one, though. Now to Wolf. Right back to Robbins. Left side, Tinhouse. Going to try to get it in the paint to Robbins. Goes right at Dicku. Reverse layup good. Logan Robbins put it on a show. He's got nine. And the lead is a 15-9 advantage for Liberty now. Their largest of the contest. Central needs an answer. It usually comes in the uh, way of Nick Moore for this Camp Point Central squad. Paven with it on the wing, on the bounce. Trying to get free of the defender. Now he draws Robbins defensively. Left side, Moore. Gets it to Dicku, way out front. 5.03 to play in the half. Right side to Pavin. Is Liberty in his zone, Charlie? Oh, yeah. No, no, they're the man. Ish. Yeah, they're just switching everything. Uh huh. No, now they're in a 2 3. Right side, Whiskirk. It's really, Robbins goes and pressures the ball just about wherever it's at. Here's a three now. Pavin, it's good, and that's a big shot for. The sophomore, Drew Pabin, he's got his first three and the first points in a while for Camp Point Central to make it 15-12. Pabin, a guy that's worked himself into the starting lineup here after not being a starter early in the season. Klingel gets the ball. We really haven't called his name much offensively. Ball knocked out of bounds on the rebound following the missed shot. It'll stay with Liberty underneath. Here's Gittenbacher returning. Eiler sits down on the other side. Knuffman, Klauser, and uh, Powell will all come in. Klingel, Robbins, and uh, Wolf to the bench for Liberty. Looked like on that shot, Klingel really thought he was going to be wide open there, and uh, Camp Point Central had done a good job of scouting, knowing that he likes to turn that way. Inbounds pass comes into Overhill. Rice shoot and score. He's got four, and the lead back to five for Liberty. They're really good at inbounds plays. Greg Alt makes his teams. They always have been. Moore now with the ball. He's going to be bumped and fouled by Knuffman, I believe, as he put both hands on him. It's going to be Knuffman's first, team fourth. I thought it could have been Obert, and that would have been a big foul. Four minutes to play in the half. The Panthers are down by five, but on the attack here. Wiskirkin out top the pavement. Reverses it to Moore. Going to skip it across. Set it up for Pavin. He had the man running at him, so he gives it off of the baseline. Dicku, shot won't fall. And the rebound down to Knuffman. Pushes it up the line. Into the front court, over. Down to Tinhouse. Tried the quick pass. It's tipped and loose. Over trying to save it, but he's on the baseline, or on the sideline, I should say. That'll be a Liberty turnover. They're fourth. 3.36 to play in the half. 17-12, the advantage for Liberty on top of Camp Point Central. Hi, I'm Tammy Brewer. My husband and I are the owner and operators of Nucci's Bar and Restaurant. At Nucci's, we feature salmon, steaks, burgers, sandwiches, all Italian specialties made from our own recipes. You are guaranteed a high quality, delicious meal every time you visit. People come from all over to dine in. We have live music on the weekends, which adds to the relaxing environment here. You can check out our Facebook page for our entertainment schedule. We recently opened a second business, Brewed Coffee House and Eatery. There we offer handcrafted beverages like lattes and macchiatos and cappuccinos. And we also specialize in paninis and salads and subs. And we even have ice cream. We're excited to provide another restaurant that serves the needs of our community. Come on down. We look forward to serving you. 
Press Yours On You designs promotional items and create just about anything to showcase your company. Communities celebrate their school spirit and turn to us too for screen printing, embroidery, laser engraving, and more. Press Yours On You, Highway 24, Camp Point. Three minutes, 36 seconds to play in the first half. 17-12 is the advantage for Liberty. Out of the media timeout, Camp Point Central has the basketball. Whisker and Moore, Ginnabacher, Dickhut, and Pabin. The five out there for the Panthers right now in the white uniforms this evening. Pabin gets it in the front court to Whisker. Central is two of eight from three right now. And uh, they're going to need some more of those to fall. Here's a lob down low. They'll get it inside to Ginnabacher right where they wanted it. Nicely designed play. Ginnabacher's got four and cuts the Liberty lead to three. 17-14 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Liberty with Tinhouse, Clouser, Powell, who's got it on the post, trying to make a post move. Turnaround shot, Eli Powell, no good. Clouser there, cleans up the glass, won't fall. Rebound loose, and Gittenbacher has it. Obert and Knuffman round out the five for Liberty at the moment. 2.48 to play in the half. Dickhut with it way out front. Defender goes flying by. Wiskirkin drives inside. Kicks to the corner, Pavin. Moore, around the horn it goes, all the way to Dickhut on the left wing. He'll dish it out to Gennenbacher, now to Moore, and they'll set up a half-court set. Nice job by Liberty, really rotating around on the defensive side. Wiskirkin, between the circles to Gennenbacher, left side, Pavin. Deep in the corner, Dickhut, out top, Wiskirkin. He'll try the lob down, though. Gennenbacher was too far underneath, has to bring it back out. Pavin now trying to create. Caught down there, and a little too much, they say, on the defensive side. A foul here against one of the Eagles. It's going to be over at second and the team fifth. And it'll be a uh, a big foul is over. I'll have to sit down for a little while. And he has been living in uh, Morris pocket. They'll bring Robbins back into the contest along with <coughs> Klingel. So this is about as big as Liberty can go at one time. I guess you could put Obert in for one of the guards. They'd be a little bigger, but you get the point. Gennenbacher with it. Drives, kicks, Wiskirkin, three, corner, good. And that's uh, what the doctor ordered for this Panther squad, and they're tied at 17. Second tie of the contest, first time since two, and now traveling going to be called as Robbins lost his footing. A turnover on Liberty is their fifth. Here comes Will Moss into the game. Robbins will sit down. Maybe trying to do a little too much. Two minutes to play in the half. Knotted at 17 points apiece. Camp Point Central looking to retake the advantage. We've already had six lead changes in this contest. Wiskirkin and Moore in the backcourt along with Ginnenbacher. They get it across right near the Leatherneck to Moore. Left side, Wiskirkin. Kid like him, once he sees one go in, now he's going to put up an off-bounce shot. Not a good possession there. Moss fighting for the rebound as is Dickhut. A whistle and will get a held ball. This will stay with Camp Point Central so Moss and Dickhut both good hustle. Central will keep it. They've got to have a better possession than that. This Camp Point Central. What I was going to say though, once Wiskirk and a guy like him see the, a three go down, he'll make another. That time he tried to do maybe just a hair too much. Dickhut bounds it in the corner to Moore. Moore has not scored at this point, and Central is tied at 17. Got to like, uh, got to like those prospects if you're Camp Point Central, don't you? I would say yes. He has uh, definitely gotten a couple of assists on some made baskets, though. In the corner, Pabin with it, out to Dickhut, and working in the post to Moore. Moore going to try the post game now. Turnaround shot, good. He says, "I've scored now." Two points for Nick Moore, and makes a 19-17 Camp Point. Central on top. Their largest lead of the contest. They led by one a couple of times early. Knuffman with it right wing for Liberty. Out top the Wolf. Under a minute to play in the half. Works it around the perimeter to the Eagles. To Brighton Klingel. He hasn't scored in this contest. 45 ticks to play in the half as they pull it out front. In the hands of Knuffman and five seconds is the call? No, they're calling a timeout. Timeout Liberty. All right, 42.6 seconds to play in the half. 1917 Camp Point Central on top back after this. This is Cammie and Joe. They are the sales force for Cascom Business and Residential Services. You may see them in your community offering deals and services from Cascom. At Cascom, we understand your concerns about potential scams. 
Our courteous and professional sales team will always present identification when visiting with you. If for any reason you have questions or concerns, please contact us at 1-800-252-1799. Thanks, and we'll be seeing you. 42.6 seconds to play in the first half. It's a 19-17 lead for Camp Point Central on top of a Liberty. Liberty ball out of the timeout here. We see Oberts check back in on the offensive side, as has Robbins. Inbounds pass in the backcourt to Tinhouse. He'll bring it up. They're going to bring a double team at him and a foul on Nick Moore. Just a little too much contact out front. Moore's first, team fourth. Yeah, the ball out of bounds again for Liberty with 36.7 seconds to play in the half. And again, they'll throw it in the backcourt to Tinhouse. They'll look to walk it up as Moore will give him a little light pressure. Across it comes to Wolf right side. On the baseline over. Nice touch pass down to Klingel who will put it up and in for his first two. Good execution that time by Liberty and the game tied in 19 points apiece. Third tie. 17 seconds to play in the half. Liberty beat the buzzer in the first quarter. Can Central do the same here in the second? With 10 seconds to play, Moore has it at the half-court line. Dribbles toward the right side, gives it off to Dickoot with five. Deep in the corner, it goes to Moore to get a Bacher off of the curl. In the corner, Shan holds her three, goes begging. And we've reached halftime in a dandy game here on the Kearns Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show as Liberty and Camp Point Central are knotted at 19 points apiece. We're back with halftime stats and more after this. At U.S. Cellular, we believe you should get more of the latest 5G technology for less of your hard-earned money. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. The choice is yours. Any of our 5G phones with no trade-in or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Terms apply. See uscellular.com for details. Come check out America's locally grown wireless at U.S. Cellular. Visit Carnes Communications, a U.S. Cellular authorized agent, located at 224 East Washington Street in Pittsfield. Hard work, dedication, integrity. The same way a great athlete demands these things for themselves, so is the Little Jess team for over 50 years. We strive daily to meet our community's automotive needs, whether it's buying a new or pre-owned purchase, finding the right part to get the job done, or getting you back on the road when something goes wrong. Little Jess Motors, serving our community since 1969. Pressures on You designs promotional items and create just about anything to showcase your company. Communities celebrate their school spirit and turn to us too for screen printing, embroidery, laser engraving, and more. Pressures on You, Highway 24, Camp Point. Pike County Glass has been outfitting homes and businesses with high quality windows and doors since 1952. We'll work with your schedule and budget to ensure your project is done in an affordable and timely manner. Our team is happy to travel near or far to install your door or window project. Did we mention we also replace auto glass? Please come and see us at 1071 West Washington Street, Pittsfield, or call 217-285-4275 for all your glass needs. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, so you know what that is. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. Welcome back on the Kearns Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. It's a 19-all score here at the halftime break between the Camp Point Central Panthers. Gee, many Christmas lookout between the Camp Point Central Panthers and the Liberty Eagles. Johnny could have gotten a free T-shirt and a free trip to the dentist all in one time as the T-shirt cannon has made its way back with a vengeance. Look out. Keep your head down and your eyes uh, moving. Uh, it was Liberty 11-8 after the first quarter, but the Panthers outscored them in that second quarter 11-8 themselves to tie this game up at 19 points apiece on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Incoming. Everybody kind of is on the edge of their seat. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Uh, turnovers in the contest, 5 for Liberty, 3 for Camp Point Central. We've had seven lead changes and three ties to 17, and now here at 19 points apiece. Fouling situation, Camp Point Central four team fouls. Paven has two. Wiskirken and Moore with one apiece. 
Uh, Liberty has five team fouls. Obert has two, and then a single foul on Knuffman, Robbins, and Eli Powell. Halftime stats brought to you in part by Alana Express, here to serve you with walk-in medical care when you need it. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every Monday through Saturday on the south side of the square in Pittsfield. Learn more about their services by visiting IlliniHospital.org. We'll take a look at the rest of the halftime stats on the Cardinals Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show after this. For nearly 40 years, the Niebuhr Funeral Home has been serving our area with professionalism and compassion. This is our business, our hometown. You can be assured we take great personal pride in serving your family in your time of loss. We're locally owned. We're your friends and neighbors. We care about you and your family. Niebuhr Funeral Home, with locations in Pittsville and Barrie, serving our community with compassion and respect. At Lanham Chiropractic, their mission is to ensure that they guide each patient to the possibility and enjoyment of a healthier you. Dr. Chris Lanham works together with each patient to identify the cause of the chiropractic issue and address it through chiropractic care, proper nutrition, and natural supplements, all while utilizing honest and trusting communication. If you're looking for a hands-on chiropractor who's proud to call this area home, call Dr. Chris Lanham at Lanham Chiropractic in Pittsfield at 217-285-6300. Together, we build. It's more than just a tagline at John Petty & Sons Custom Builders. It's our way of life. Our team is committed to building high-quality, custom-built commercial and residential facilities to fit the needs of your family or business. From design, new construction, renovation, and repairs, we have the expertise to turn your project into reality. Call us for a free quote at 217-248-6196. That's 248-6196. Or check us out on Facebook, John Petty & Sons Custom Builders. Together, we build. Where do you go before the game, during the game, or after the game? It's Jersey's Bar and Grill in Camp Point. They invite you to stop by after the game tonight. They'll have a limited menu of food for 30 minutes after the game. Join them on Mondays, 4 to 11, kitchen open till 9. Close Tuesdays, Wednesdays, they feature smoked meat. Try the wings, the best around. For a cold drink and great food, it's Jersey's Bar and Grill in Camp Point on the south side of the track. Stop by before the game, during the game, or after the game at Jersey's in Camp Point. PCRE Real Estate and Auction is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois. With two office locations, one in Pike County and the other in Calhoun County, PCRE Real Estate and Auction is the place to go when you're looking to buy or sell farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property. See our current listings at PCRERealEstate.com or call us at 217-285-5800 for PCRE Real Estate and Auction. Back with you on the Cardinals Communication, U.S. Cellular Halftime Show, and a game knotted up at 19 points apiece at the halftime break. Halftime stats brought to you in part by Moose Lodge 420. Check them out for their Friday meal specials each week at Moose Lodge 420 in Pittsfield. The food's hot, the drinks are cold at Moose Lodge 420. Camp Point Central is 8 of 22 from the field, 36%, 3 of 10 from 3, 30%. And have you not shot a free throw yet in this contest. Briar Wiskirkin leads the way with five points. Isaac Gennebacher with four. Paben has three. Also three for Dylan Shanholzer. And then Nick Moore with two and Keaton Dickhoot with two. Carter Eiler also played in the first half but did not score. So six men in the scoring column out of the seven that played for this Camp Point Central squad. For the Liberty Eagles in the first half of play, they shot... 9 of 20, 45% as they held pretty true to that between both of the quarters here. They were 1 of 2 from 3. Of course, the one they made was the one that beat the buzzer by Robbins at the end of the first, and they've not shot a free throw yet. 9 points for Logan Robbins to lead the way off the bench. 4 points apiece for Clayton Obert and Cannon Wolf, and 2 for Brighton Klingel. Tinhouse, Powell, Clouser. Moss and Knuffman all also played in the first half but did not score in this one. Uh, rebounding edge goes to Camp Point Central just slightly, though, 11-10. to 10. Gennenbacher leads his team with four rebounds. Logan Robbins has three for Liberty. We are here on the Cartons Communication U.S. Sailor Halftime Show, a final break, and we'll have the second half. Team's tied at 19. What's going to happen in the second half? Well, come back after this. 
Signs in Time at 122 South 9th Street in Quincy. Griffin Signs in Time is a full-service sign company that can complete any project from fully wrapping your entire fleet of vehicles, digital signs, storefronts to creating small banners and signs. The right and professional signage is the difference of getting the job, heading folks in the right direction to find you, or creating a brand recognition to potential customers. Put the right sign in your customer's mind with Griffin Signs in Time. Quincy, call 217-228-7470. Helena Agra of Camp Point, Illinois is a proud sponsor of the broadcast of Camp Point Central Football. For all your seed, fertilizer, and ag chemical needs, the experts at Helena Agra, Brian Obert, Dustin Roskamp, are the guys to call. Let them show you the best seed, fertilizer, and ag chemicals to make your farming operation a success. Call 217-593-7761. That's 217-593-7761 for Helena Agra. Helena Agra says, Go Panthers! Crime Stoppers of Pike County is a program designed to allow members of the community to provide anonymous information about criminal activity without fear of reprisal or reluctance to get involved. By utilizing Crime Stoppers, a person can provide crime-solving assistance, cash rewards available up to $1,000. Callers will receive a personal code which is used to pay cash rewards if their information leads to an arrest. See something, hear something, say something. 217-285-1500 to leave your tip. Be sure to check out our Facebook page. Well, we're ready to start the second half. The game is tied at 19 points apiece on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Trash Queen serving the entire area with uh, great trash pickup services for you. Call 217-320-4320 for Trash Queen. Check them out on Facebook to learn more. Liberty will have the basketball to start the second half. They've got Klingel, Obert, Robbins, Tinhouse, and Wolf to start the second half. Camp Point Central counters with Ginnebacher, Moore, Dickud, Wiskirkin, and Pavin. So the original five both ways. Liberty gets it in bounds. It'll give and go. Klingel to Obert. That worked well, didn't it? Obert's got six and breaks the tie and gives us a lead change as Liberty's on top, 21-19. Into the front court, Pavin with it for the Panthers. They're going to put Robbins now out on Moore, and he's a little tougher to shoot over the top of, isn't he? Although Moore with just two points in the first half, and this game was still tied at halftime. Keeps Obert from picking up another foul, hopefully. Well, it, it just shows you that uh, either one of these teams are uh, you know, one-trick pony. They can really spread it out. Diku with it right side. Looks to help facilitate things here to Wiskirkin. He looks to the bench. James Barnett calls out a new play call here. Now, Whiskerkin has the ball just kind of bounce funnily on him here. Uh, he's in some trouble. Close to five. Throws it up for grabs. Ginnebacher goes and runs it down. Then he throws a bounce pass that nearly got away. Moore with the save. That time, the pavement. Back to Moore. Moore says, uh, let's reset. Left wing pavement to Ginnebacher. Dribbles, kicks, Ooh. and they're going to call him for an offensive foul. As Klingel stood in to take the charge from Gennenbacher. Klingel had switched off on Nick Moore, which I think was a uh, set that Camp Point Central liked, but uh, Gennenbacher's going to get his first foul, team first of the second half, also a turnover for Camp Point Central, their fourth. Liberty ball length of the court to go here. What are we waiting for? Christmas, I think. It just passed, pal. Hand on the ball and let's play. Tin House with it into the front court. Sets things in motion. Right side to Robbins. Top of the key now. Gets it to Obert in the paint. They're working in and out. Now back to Wolf for a three good. Cannon Wolf with a tray. He's got seven. And extends the Liberty lead out to 24-19. Led by as many as six in this contest. Lead by five now. Here now, Pavin tries to split a double team, and a foul is going to be called against Wolf. Can Wolf? Wolf's first team, first of the second half against Liberty. It'll be a ball out of bounds on the far sideline to Camp Point Central in the front court. 6-19 to play in this third period. Inbounds comes to Wiskirkin. Near the half-court line to Nick Moore. Dribbles toward the left wing. Now he'll work off of the screen from Dickoot. Dribble drive in, finds Dickoot on the screen and roll. Shot blocked, but they'll say no. Instead, a foul going to be called, and Dickoot will shoot the first two free throws of this contest. Over here, Wolf's foul, his second, team second. 
and uh, Deku to the free throw line, shooting two. 24-19, the score, Liberty with five-point lead, 6.08 to go in the third quarter of play on the Trash Queen scoreboard. First one up for Keaton Deku is short, no good off the front of the rim. Bowlers Universe open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday till midnight, Saturdays 4 to midnight. Check them out for their great food and a good time at Bowlers Universe in Pittsfield. Second rolls through, makes it 24-20, cuts into that Liberty lead by a point. Dekut's got three points. After that trip to the charity stripe, six minutes to play in the third. Robbins with it, gets it in the paint to Klingel. He'll push underneath. Pass was tipped and Stoneman away. A turnover the sixth on the Eagles. Genenbacher with it to Wiskirk. And the chance for Camp Point Central to pull closer here. Now they'll come at Wiskirk into the double team of Obert and Klingel. He works out of that nicely. Pass comes free to Moore. Dribbled toward the left wing. Wants to go a little one-on-one -on -one inside. Is fouled. And two shots for Moore. As Klingel was a little late to slide underneath. I believe that'll be Klingel's second. That's first. Oh, excuse me. Klingel's first, team third. Already in the uh, second half against Liberty. And Moore to the free throw line shooting a couple. 24-20 the score. 5.34 to go in the third quarter of play. First one up for Moore is a little long. No good. Damon Emmerich at Great Rivers Bank is here to help you with your next auto, residential, or commercial loan. Call Damon Emmerich, 217-285-4404. Moore second up, and also too long, no good. Rebound comes down to Klingel for Liberty. Ooh, in games like this, missed opportunities like that can come back to bite you. Into the front court over. He drives coast to coast, shot up, no good. Rebound down to Moore. He'll work at the Whiskirk and in the backcourt. Takes it across the half-court line. 5.18 to play in the third period. Hey, folks, glad you can make it. Moore with the basketball. He'll try the dribble drive in. Shot up blocked by Robbins. It'll go out of bounds. They'll say it was touched last by the Panthers. And it'll be Liberty Eagle basketball. So length of the court to go here for the Eagles. Up 24-20. Sorry, the game's under attack from Giants. Left side with it is Klingel. Free throw line, Robbins. Lost it on the dribble. Now tied up, stolen away by Genenbacher. Turnover number seven. Genenbacher into the front court. Throws it too far for Moore. And a turnover on the Panthers, their fifth. So the two teams trade the turnovers. Ball back to Liberty. 4.49 to play in the third. Got a whole arena, and people want to sit right in front of you. Get the whole dang place. Now Liberty's going to throw a ball that was tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Eagles. It went all the way down the tunnel, but there was somebody right there to get it back in. Sort of like the people who sit behind the scoring table and want to yell the whole time. Sit somewhere else, like at home. <laughs> Inbounds pass comes to Klingel. He'll try the ooh, nice spin move. That's a big boy move right there by Brighton Klingel. He's got four. And extends the Eagle lead out to six, tying their largest lead of this contest. Now the ball stolen away on the inbounds pass. Robbins goes up, shot no good, but he's fouled. And he'll head to the free throw line after the sixth turnover by Camp Point Central. And they're going to tell us that foul was on Nick Moore. That'll be his second, team second of the second half. And Robbins to the free throw line, shooting a couple. 26-20, the score 427 to go in the third quarter of play. First one up for Robbins, too long, no good. And James Burnett wants a timeout, 4.27 to play in the third period. It's a 26-20 advantage for Liberty on top of Camp Point Central. Back with you following this timeout. Time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FBFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams County. Phone 217-593-7233. That's 593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Jesse Schutman, Emily Carlson, and Brad Wellman. Illinois FBFM and Camp Point working for you. Western Illinois FCA would like to invite you to join us as a partner at the end of this year and contribute to the fellowship and ministry of Western Illinois Fellowship of Christian Athletes. We've been working hard this last year. Mission trips, camps. We had uh, Dan Mears from the Kansas City Chiefs, their mascot, at many of the area schools and at a banquet. We've got great banquets planned in the spring. Won't you join us? Go to westernilfca.org to contribute to Western Illinois FCA. 
427 to play in the third period. It's a 26-20 advantage for Liberty on top of Camp Point Central. The Panthers call the timeout. Logan Robbins to the free throw line to shoot the second of a two-shot foul. He missed the uh, first. Looking for double figures with a made one here, and he finds the mark this time. Robbins with 10 off the bench, and the largest lead of the contest, this seven-point advantage for Liberty, 27-20. He's only surrendered a single point in the second half. Here's Gennenbacher, down to Pavin. He dribbles in, now back out to Diku. Fakes the three, gets it to Pavin in the corner. He'll fire from downtown. It's good. Drew Pavin with the tray. He's got six. Trying to shoot Camp Point Central back into this contest. 27-23, four minutes to play in the third. Liberty was frustrated that time defensively because they went out and Robbins fakes a three. They went out and really pressured Dickhoot and left Pavin open in the corner. Here's a shot put up, no good. Rebound down to Ginnenbacher. And there's nothing against Keaton Dickhoot, but if you're going to choose between those two, you'd want to pressure Pavin on the wing. Now Wiskirkin has a three on two, drives the lane and travels. Turnover the seventh against Camp Point Central, and we get the media timeout. 3.37 to play in the third, 27-23, the lead for this squad from Liberty as you watch high school basketball on Central Illinois Sports. Wish you had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house. Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. In a world that seems to be out of control, your friends at First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, want you to know that the hope of God's love reaches out to you. God loves you and he has a purpose for your life. If you'd like to learn more about this, we invite you to join us at 8 a.m. or at 1030 on Sunday mornings at 225 North Memorial Street in Pittsfield or online at fccpittsfield.org, our Facebook page, or our YouTube channel. First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, a safe place to learn and grow. The Cottage Coffee and Soda Shop features all of your favorite specialty espresso drinks. Enjoy over 50 fabulous flavors of Lotus and try the new Soda Mixology with exciting flavor combinations added to your favorite Pepsi product. Come see us at the Cottage Coffee and Soda Shop today. Just over halfway through this third period, 337 left in the period to be exact, and Liberty has a 27-23 lead, and now the basketball back their direction. As Tinhouse has it, works it into the corner to Klingel. Klingel left wing, down low to Robbins. He wants to go to work against Dickhoot. Kicks it out top, a three-pointer on the way. Obert goes begging, rebound down to Gennenbacher for Camp Point Central. Panthers down by four. They trailed by as many as seven. Trying to cut it closer here. The final three and some change of this third quarter. Whiskirk and out top. They go to Gennenbacher. Now to Moore, the guy who brings the ball across the half-court line right now for Camp Point Central, you're always going to get a double team. As Liberty trying to jump and trap a little bit. Wiskirkin with it, hands it off to Pavin. Pavin with the ball, hand off to Moore. Moore back to Pavin in the corner, he's wide open for three, and guess what? Kick and shoot it a little bit, don't you say? He's got nine, and that's a one-point game, 27-26. He's a confident shooter right now for sure. He's a sophomore too. 2.30 to play in the third. They set that play up nicely, and Moore drew the attention, and Pavin knocked down the three-point shot. Right side, Wolf with it. Works it out between the circles to Ober. He wants Wolf and he to exchange spaces. Now Klingel, he's going to try to assert himself, turn around, move good. You know, I think just about any time Klingel would like to do that, I'm not sure there's many people in the area that are going to stop him. He's got six all in the third quarter. 29-26, Liberty. Back on top by three. Wiskirkin in the corner to Dickhoot. Ooh, now Ober goes down and nearly does the splits. He gets back up okay to Pavin. Left side turns down the three. Drives, kicks, corner Wiskirkin. Pass was a little wide. Wiskirkin drives the lane. Shot won't fall. And on the rebound, Ginnenbacher will be over the back. His second. His second, team third. Ball out of bounds, length of the court to go for Liberty. Knuff and Clouser and Powell will check in for Liberty. Shanholzer comes in for Camp Point Central as Pavin heads to the bench. 
146 to play in the third. 29-26 Liberty. In this quarterfinal matchup, winner plays at 1 o'clock tomorrow. The loser plays at 9 o'clock in the morning. That's why you want to be the winner, right? Yeah. Do you want to sleep? Well, go win the game. Robbins with it near the sideline. Dishes in the corner to Powell. Right back to Robbins. He wasn't uh, expecting it to come his way quite that quickly and a turnover on Liberty, their eighth. It's kind of an unforced error that time by the Eagles. Moore toward the wing, gets it to Wiskirken, hands it off to Shanholzer. Now to Genenbacher. Genenbacher left side, Wiskirken in the corner. Moore for a three, good. And we're tied at 29. Moore's got five. Fourth tie of the contest, first time since we were tied at 19 points apiece at the halftime break. Under a minute to play in this third period. Game is knotted at 29 all on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Liberty looking to burn a little clock here, it looks like. They'll get it to Knuffman. Pass is knocked away. Knuffman saves it in bounds. Loose on the court. Clouser down on the floor after it, trying to keep it alive and does. Good hustle, Devin Clouser. And a timeout for the Eagles. 34.4 seconds to play in the third. Game tied at 29. Back after this. Camp Point Central Sports are proud to have Dew Wester Grain as a sponsor of this broadcast. Dew Wester Grain, there for you for all your grain and feed needs. Why don't you give them a call and check out all the locations of Dew Wester Grain. With locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Dear Wester Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DearWesterGrain.com. The caring and experienced professionals at Hamilton Funeral Homes are here to support you through this difficult time. We offer a range of personalized services to suit your family's wishes and requirements. You can count on us to help you plan a personal, lasting tribute to your loved one. And we'll carefully guide you through the many decisions that must be made during this challenging time. You're welcome to call us at any time of the day, any day of the week. Visit our funeral home in person or on the web at HamiltonFuneralHome.com. Call 217-593-6050. 34.4 seconds to play now in this third period. Liberty took the timeout. They'll have the ball on the sideline in the front court. Tin House will throw it in. Gets it in the corner to Obert. Klingel, Obert, and uh, Wolf all check back in during the dead ball. 25 seconds to play in the third. Obert near the sideline. Has picked up the bounce. Leaves it for Tin House. Tied at 29 points apiece. Camp Point Central gets the ball to start the final quarter, barring a tie up here. 10 seconds to play in the third. Wolf with it. Left side, Klingel. With five to Obert. Obert will attack down low against Shanholzer. Shot up, won't fall. Rebound Obert at the buzzer. Might have been fouled, no call. Wow. And that's that was the end of the third. Game is tied at 29 points apiece. Stay tuned for the fourth quarter on Central Illinois Sports. For all of your commercial and residential trash pickup needs, call Trash Queen, serving Pike, Scott, and Morgan counties with affordable residential trash service and roll off dumpsters. We're proud to be locally owned and operated and want to earn your business. Give us a call to find out just how affordable our rates really are. Call Trash Queen at 217 320 4320. That's 217-320-4320. Or check us out on Facebook. Trash Queen, our business is picking up. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full-service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at GoBestSystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. Well, about halfway through that third period, it looked like Liberty was going to start to move and create some space between these two teams. They led by seven, but Central finishes the quarter with a 7-0 run, and we're tied at 29 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Ready to start the fourth. Camp Point Central has the basketball. Paben, Wiskirk, and Moore. Gennenbacher and Dickut are the five for Camp Point Central to start this final frame. Moore with the dribble out front. 
Guarded there hard by Ober. Left wing it goes to Pabin. Pabin's hit three threes today. They'll work it to Wiskirken. To Moore left side for the three and the lead. It's off the mark. And the rebound down to Clouser. Central was three of three from the three-point line in that period. The end of the front court, Knuffman, a three in transition, and it's good. Reese Knuffman with his first three of the contest and makes it a three-point Liberty advantage, 32-29. He was a confident shooter there. Babin with it into the front court to Moore. Out to Wiskirken. That's a big shot by, by Knuffman right there. You haven't shot it all day. You shoot that shot to break a tie. Here's a skip across to Pavin. He's inside the arc, puts it up for a two. No good. Gennenbacher, though, is there to clean up the glass. He's got six, and it's down to a one-point game, 32-31. Eagles bring it into the front court. Wolf has it out front, gets it to Obert. They're joined by Knuffman, Klingel, and Clouser. Sounds like a law firm. Knuffman, Klingel, and Clouser. Here's a ball tipped and knocked out of bounds. <laughs> It's going to be last touch by Camp Point Central. I think they had a chance to pick that ball up in the corner. Just didn't do so, John. When in doubt, grab the ball, all right? Yeah. Tough place to take the ball out of bounds right here. Right in the corner. They'll get it into Obert on the baseline. He'll work it out top to Wolf. Left wing to Klingel. Down low to Wolf. A little give and go action. 6.32 to play. Out top, over. Down to Klingel on a triple team to Clouser. Clouser attacks. Runner up is good for Devin Clouser. He's got his first two. And the lead back to three for the Eagles. 34 31. More into the front court to Ginnenbacher. Down low. Gets it into Dickhoot. Turns, shoots, scores. Keaton Dickhoot. He's got five. He doesn't score a ton for this team. But when he does, they're important points. Down to a one point game with six minutes to play. Obert has the ball. Down low, Knuffman. Going to try to post up against Moore. Now he switches pivot. Feet goes up and scores. <laughs> Reese Knuffman having a nice start to this fourth quarter. He's got five in a hurry here. And the lead again back out to three. Moore has it near the big bulldog symbol here at center court. Ginnenbacher skips it across to Wiskirk, and he'll try the lob down to Ginnenbacher. It was a little behind him. He somehow comes out of the scrum with the ball, trying to go back out with it. Might have pivoted on both feet, but Camp Point Central gets another chance here. 5.18 to play. Right side, Wiskirk, and in the corner to Diku. Now to Moore in the corner for the three and the tie. Yes, Moore from downtown. He's got eight all in the second half, and we're tied at 36 points apiece. This is the fifth tie of this contest. What a game it's been. Under five to play now. Clouser with it on the right wing for the Eagles. He'll put it on the deck, throw it out top to Knuffman. Over, a little backdoor pass down low to Clouser. Going to try to go at Diku. Diku trying to hold him strong. Ball knocked out of bounds. Moore knocked it off of Clouser. It'll be a turnover. A turnover here by Liberty is their ninth. And a stoppage in play allows Clouser to go to the bench along with Wolf. Robbins returns, as does Tinhouse. Also, Powell is back in, and Obert takes a chair. Real Linton Twine, located just north of Pittsfield, across from the airport. Rick and Tracy, they do a great job. Basically, if you've seen something made out of concrete, they've probably made it, or could. Give them a call at Real Linton Twine, 285-5013, for all of your concrete lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, benches, and much, much more. Here's a ball stolen away now. Turnover number eight by Camp Point Central. A stepping in the passing lane that time was Brighton Klingel for the Eagles. Game is knotted at 36. Now ball punched out of bounds by Ginnenbacher. It will stay with Liberty in the front court, right in front of their bench. 4.21 left. Ball out front to Tinhouse. Dishes on the wing to Klingel. Looking for Powell down low. He's got Pavin trying to post up against him. Had the height advantage. Now to Knuffman, who's had the hot hand to start this fourth quarter. To Powell. Ball stripped away and stolen away by Ginnenbacher. Tenth turnover into the front court. Ginnenbacher puts up a shot blocked by Robbins. Rebound down to Tinhouse. Every once in a while, just like we saw there, Ginnenbacher kind of gets in a spot and gets in the air and then is like, ooh, what do I do now? Hibbert, here's Knuffman for a three. His shot is no good. Long rebound, though, run down by JT Tinhouse. 
If I'm Liberty, I want to run some offense here. Now they'll try to throw a pass down low. Ginnebacher going to save it, and it'll go out of bounds. Stop the clock and take us to the final media timeout. 3.40 left. Hey, it's a brand new game, kind of, right? 36 all. We'll have the final 3.40 of this game after this. 21, Farmer State Bank of Camp Point has been a vital part of our community's history. We are proud of our growth, our community leadership, and our success, which is only possible because of all those who shared this journey with us. We are grateful to the generations of loyal customers, families, businesses, employees, officers, and directors who have shaped not only our story, but our entire communities. Thank you. We look forward to serving you and your future generations for the next 100 years. Farmer State Bank and Camp Point, together we are a strong United community. Pike Feeds is a locally owned and operated feed mill in Pittsfield. We know and understand the passion you have for your livestock. That's why for the past 30 years, we've served our customers with quality products such as premixes, supplements, and complete feeds for multiple livestock species. Pike Feeds in-house nutritionists will create a nutritional program to ensure maximum performance of your operation. Stop by 1250 West Washington Street, Pittsfield, or call 217-285-5656. Did you know that Prairie Land FS doesn't just sell seed? They treat it and box it right here at one of their local facilities, then deliver it to your farm or fields. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. 340 left. Game is knotted at 36 points apiece on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Liberty with the basketball. They've led most recently. Right side, Robbins has it for the Eagles. They'll work it up top. To Tin House, now to Obert left side. They left Knuffman out there recognizing he's kind of been a spark for them in this fourth quarter. They'll get it down to Robbins, fakes the man off of his feet, shot up no good, gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in. Logan Robbins has a dozen. And gives Liberty a 38-36 advantage. Now a ball stolen away by Robbins, a steal, shot up at the other end, turn it and one as Robbins is fired up right now. He puts it in after the steal, his 14th points of the night. He'll get an opportunity for an and one right here. Nick Morris foul his third, team fourth. And Robbins to the free throw line shooting one. Timeout camp point central, 30 second timeout. 30 second break, 3.08 to play, 40-36 Eagles on top. Back after this. At Western Illinois University, limits are meant to be pushed. Because the best change happens when people think in new and unexpected ways. At WIU, you'll experience a world where your presence matters, where your ideas take flight, and your determination opens the door to possibility. At WIU, we create a world that's brand new. Three oh eight to play. 40-36, Liberty on top. Logan Robbins to the free throw line. He's the only guy to shoot free throws for Liberty in this contest. He's one for two, has 14 points in the reserve role here today. Free throw on its way, it's good. He got the steal as well and extends the lead for Liberty out to five in a hurry. He broke that tie. Moore with it toward the front court for the Panthers. Works it across to Wiskirk and now to Diku. Top of the key, Nick Moore. Around it goes to Pabin. 250 remaining, a five point lead for Liberty. Here will kick to the corner and Wiss Kirkin. He'll put it on the deck, pull it out to Moore. Moore looks to size up his man in Tinhouse off the dribble. Double team comes at him, Moore dribble drive, gets it out to Wiss Kirkin. He'll drive the lane, shot up is blocked by Robbins, and a rebound pulled down by Knuffman. A lot of contact there, John. 2.27 to play. Might have been a foul. Of course, when you have somebody in Robbins who's just that much bigger than the man, it always looks worse for the big guy. He very well could have had his hand on top of that ball. Now they're going to spread the floor as Liberty and try to burn some clock. Up five with 2.07 to play. Now they'll work it down low. Klingel gets it free. Shot up no good. A foul. Going to be called on Isaac Ginnenbacher. It'll be Ginnenbacher's foul. His third. His third team fifth. And uh, Klingel to the free throw line shooting a couple. 41-36 to score Liberty with the lead. 2.05 to go in the ball game. First one up for Klingel is good. Waters Concrete and Tim Waters, they've been offering quality concrete work for your new build, driveways, sidewalks, decorative patios, anything with concrete. It's Waters Concrete, 309-252-1052. Can tell you their biggest lead of the 
evening if he makes the second one and he misses it. Klingle's got eight. Rebound and comes down to Wiskirken and then uh, Robbins fouls. Robbins Ray fouls him. Backcourt. He went to jump the pass and kick the man instead. Robbins a second, just the fourth team foul. Six point lead here for Liberty with 2.03 left. They're on a little 6-0 run after the game was tied at 36. Pabin has it on the wing. Top of the key, Moore. Three ball on the way. And it's good again. Nick Moore with 11 all. Well, I guess nine of them here in the second half, we'll say. And he's cut it down to a three-point game. And as long as there's time and you're within three points, the Panthers have a chance, don't they? Correct. Tenhouse with it. He tries to dribble through some traffic. Gets it down low to Obert. Unselfish pass. Maybe too unselfish as it's stolen away. Turnover number 11. 127 left. Moore will bring it toward the front court for Camp Point Central. They've been down by as many as seven. They fought back, tied it up thin. They were just down by six a moment ago. Now by three. Moore works it out top the pavement. Kennenbacher right side to Wiskirken with 112 remaining in this fourth quarter. Wiskirken on the dribble drive and a foul called here. It'll be Knuffman's foul. Knuffman second. Team fifth. The second team five. Ball out of bounds underneath the basket to Camp Point Central. Pabin gets it in the corner. Out to Wiskirk and top of the key Moore for a three and the tie. Good from downtown. Nick Moore with another three. He's got 14 and we're tied at 42 points apiece. And of the front court come the Eagles and we've got 50 seconds left. I thought I heard a whistle. Now I do hear a whistle as Liberty's Greg Altmix calls the timeout. 50.4 seconds remaining. We're nodded at 42 points apiece. Back with the exciting finish after this. BNR Heating and Cooling HVAC service is the best local choice. Phone 217-285-2856. They offer all types of HVAC services on all units. BNR can also service commercial refrigeration units, freezers, coolers. BNR Heating and Cooling HVAC service. If you're not, they make you cool. Right now as we head to winter, get your heating units checked out. 285-2856. BNR Heating and Cooling in Pittsfield. 50.4 seconds remaining in the contest. This game is knotted at 42 points apiece on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Each team with two timeouts left. So This game has had eight ties, or uh, six ties, excuse me, eight lead changes. Camp points led by as many as two, Liberty by as much as seven, but right now knotted at 42 points apiece. Liberty will have the ball coming out of the timeout. Both teams with five fouls, so a couple before they put the team at the free throw line. Both teams with two timeouts, as John told you, and the possession arrow, should it come down to a tie-up, would favor Liberty at the moment. This ball going to go in the backcourt, Charlie? I don't think so. Wolf's going to throw it in. To Robbins, right on the top of the key. Looks left side to Obert. 45 ticks left. Obert's got payment on him. They could try to exploit that matchup. Now they pull it out to Robbins. Robin's been the big second half guy for them. He's got it out front with 35 seconds left. Central's in a man. Robbins pulls it out near the half court line with 30 seconds to play. I think Liberty will gladly take one shot if they get the opportunity. If I'm Camp Point Central, I might come out and foul one time here. Yep. You've got one to give. Tin House with it to Robbins with 19 seconds left. He'll come out and Moore will pressure him. Over it goes to Wolf with 15 ticks to play. And with 13.9 seconds left, Greg Altmix calls the timeout. 13.9 seconds to play, tied at 42 points apiece. 30 seconds Central timeout. Illinois Sports. So they've got one timeout remaining now. And if I'm Camp Point Central, the only reason I'm fouling here, even though the game's tied, is just to disrupt the flow of whatever they're coming up with right now. Yeah. Maybe force Liberty to take that final timeout rather than letting them go through what they come up with on the sideline here. It's much tougher when you've got to do it on the fly, right? Just got to make sure that uh, you don't foul them shooting. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Glad you could make it today, John. 13.9 seconds left. This game is tied at 42, but a dandy contest here in this quarterfinal. The winner of this one plays the winner of Rockridge and Farmington. And the game's scheduled to start around 6.30 this evening. Sorry, I'm doing my John Madden impression. Inbounds pass. Tinhouse gets it into Klingel. He's got it with 12 seconds. 
Now to Tinhouse with 10. On the wing it goes to Wolf with 8. Right side Klingel. He hands it off to Obert. And the ball catch. knocked loose. Works it down low and a timeout with 2.2 seconds left. Liberty takes their final timeout. They actually had a matchup they would have liked as Klingel was being guarded by Wiskirk in the post. But Greg Altmick said we're going to not chance it here. Takes his final timeout with 2.2 seconds left, John. And we very well could see an overtime situation. Although, what did we say earlier in the contest? A very smart person on this broadcast said earlier, Liberty is very good on inbounds plays under the basket. Who would that have been? I've, it must have been a guy that left. It wasn't you. Uh, no, I know. I, that's why I said it must have been a guy that left. It was a very smart person. 2.2 seconds remaining. Are you surprised to not see Clouser come back in the game so you got two tall guys to try to inbound that ball to on an elevation they, shot? you got Robbins and you got Klingel. Well, I, I think understand. They'll run, they, they run that little stack play quite a bit where they'll yep. put those men right together. They used to do it a lot for... Another young man whose last name was Obert. He was a little taller than this one. Well, not much, though. And Clayton can really jump. Seems to be a familial trait. Yeah, we didn't get that one. Liberty ball, 2.2 seconds remaining, underneath their own hoop. That was also a familial trait. Ten outs to throw it in here. Looking, he'll get it into Robbins. Robbins turns, stripped by Ginnenbacher at the buzzer, and we head to overtime. Tied at 42 points apiece. Stay tuned for overtime on Central Illinois Sports. Edney Home Improvement is a family-owned company with Christian values. We have a passion for helping our customers find the best products at a great price. We understand making a large purchase of windows and doors for your home is a big investment. Our mission is to be completely upfront with you. We have built our business on trust and reputation. We depend on our customers to refer us to friends and family for their home improvement needs. Call 573-221-0886. We finish what we start with quality for you. Edney Home Improvement's 100% satisfaction is what we build our business on. Pikewood Motors, located on the east side of the square in Pittsfield, is the place to go for your next new or used vehicle purchase. Plus, they have great service after the sale. Call Pikewood Motors at 285-2196. And after your trip to Pikewood with that new vehicle, head on down to the Riverbank in Florence. Great steak night every Thursday night. The drinks are cold, the food is hot at the Riverbank in Florence, on the banks of the Illinois River, and sometimes in it. Thanks to Doug Daniel and Riverbank and Pikewood Motors for sponsoring tonight's broadcast. Well, regulation wasn't enough. Let's play four more, they say. Tied at 42 points apiece on the Trash Queen scoreboard. As Ginnenbacher blocked the shot of Robbins on the way up to prevent it from going into the hoop. It was a pretty well-designed play by the squad from Liberty, but uh, better defense that time from Isaac Ginnenbacher. Almost didn't switch sides there, and... Uh... That would have been interesting. If you'll always go towards your bench. Robbins will jump against Dick Hoot. The tip is up and controlled by Liberty. They've got the ball. They've held the lead most recently. Robbins on the wing. He'll pull it out between the circles to Obert. Down on the post to Klingel. Klingel going to go at Ginnenbacher. Throws it out top. Ten house for a three. No good. Ginnenbacher gets the rebound for the Panthers. 3.39 to play here in overtime. The fifth period, as it says on the board here at Western Hall. Central looking for the first lead change in a while. They've trailed by as many as seven a couple of times in this contest. But have fought back every time, and it's tied at 42 points apiece. We've been tied at the last three stops in this one. Left side with it is Ginnebacher to Pavin. Out top, Wiskirk, and lob down to Ginnebacher. Had to come down with it, fouled on the floor. This foul is going to be on the floor as Obert commits the foul. It'll be his third. Obert's third, team six. That'll be a ball out of bounds underneath the basket to Camp Point Central. Panther ball with 3.13 to play in overtime. Dickoot will throw it in. He'll lob it up for Ginnenbacher. Ginnenbacher goes at Klingel. Right side, Whisker can dribble drive in. Got caught in the air. Kicks to Moore. Left side, three. Way too long. And the rebound to Klingel. He'll get it to Tinhouse. Three minutes to play in overtime. A minute in, and nobody's scored. Right side, Wolf works it down to Obert, and he's fouled by Wiskirk in his second of the night. Wiskirk in second, team sixth, and it'll be ball out of bounds underneath the basket to Camp Point Central. No, Liberty. Or to Liberty, I mean, excuse me. It's not, it's one, not and one. one and one. It's only six. 
Yeah, guys, it's not one and one. Take it out of bounds. Yeah, one guy said one and one, and it is not yet. It will be on the next foul by either squad, though. Not a lot of free throws shot in this game. Uh, Central's one of four. Liberty is three of five. Robbins to Wolf on the wing left side. Works the pass to Klingel. Ginnemacher's done a really nice job on him in the post, hasn't he? He has. Right side over to Tinhouse now in the corner. 2.40 to play in this overtime frame. Tied at 42 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Wolf with it. Dribbles toward the left wing, deep in the corner to Obert. Pass fake there by the senior. Skips it across to Robbins. Robbins fakes the three, now puts it on the deck. Out top the Klingel. As the Eagles pass around the perimeter, looking for that good shot near the basket. Robbins gets it on the ball, handoff. Dribbles toward the top of the key, left side now Klingel. He'll put it on the deck one time. Robbins on the pick and the slam for Robbins off of the screen and roll. He's got 17 and makes it 44. 42, Liberty. Two minutes to play in this overtime. Robbins is a good energy kid. He's going to be a steal for some college. Not getting as many looks as he should be, but uh, this kid's going to be a player. Here's Whiskirk and drives in a little out of control, and on the rebound, Wolf comes out of there with it for Liberty. He'll work the ball to Obert. Into the front court, 140 to play in overtime. Tenhouse finds Obert down low, blocked in... Taken away there. Call that a steal by Ginnebacher and then a foul. And so he'll walk to the other end, John, and shoot one and one with 135 to play in overtime. 44-42 the score. Liberty with the two-point lead. 135 to go in overtime. Foul is over its fourth, team seventh. And uh, Ginnebacher will be shooting one and one. He's got six points. Has not shot free throws yet. As we told you, Liberty, or excuse me, Central just won a four from the free throw line so far today. And Ginnebacher's first is up, and it's no good too long, and the rebound comes down to Liberty, so he doesn't get the bonus. Central didn't have anybody down in the post to rebound there. Does that surprise you? Yes. 127 to play. A two-point lead and the possession now. Here's the ball poked away as Dickert tried to play a little bit of the cheating defense to knock it away. He did, but it went out of bounds. Stays with Liberty on the sideline. Ten house to trigger. One, two, three on the clock right now. That's fun. Inbounds comes to Wolf. Guarded there by Pavin. Wolf on the drive, and they'll call carry. They call a carry there. That ball was tipped. Call a double for dribble, carrying yeah, the yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. 13th turnover by Liberty. He, <laughs> he Pavin, got help. Definitely, Pavin definitely got a hand on that ball. Wow, Camp Point Central catches a break. Can they take advantage? Now Robbins is down on the down. floor in the backcourt. Moore drives in, shot up a man short right now is Liberty. They drive in, Ginnebacher misses the layup, and then they notice that Robbins is back there, and he's twisted an ankle, and he is down on the ground still. And uh, he was on the ground in the backcourt that entire possession for Camp Point Central, and Liberty's defense was still able to hold, and it looks like he has twisted an ankle possibly here. And you hate to see this as Robbins has battled some injuries already this season, missed some games with a leg injury, and uh, now they're uh, going to attend to him with 105 to play in, here in overtime. Liberty up 44-42. We'll step aside for this break, back with live action in overtime after this. The Rustic Market is a small town treasure. Come discover unique gifts, home decor, and a variety of specialty foods. Find fun clothes from size small to 3X and a personal stylist to outfit you from head to toe. And new merchandise weekly. Explore the Rustic Market today. Press Yours On You designs promotional items and create just about anything to showcase your company. Communities celebrate their school spirit and turn to us too for screen printing, embroidery, laser engraving, and more. Press Yours On You, Highway 24, Camp Point. Robbins has to be helped off of the floor. He's not putting any weight on that left leg and not a good sign here for this Liberty team. 105 to play in overtime. They have a two-point lead, but have to be concerned as Logan Robbins with 17 points in this contest and a key cog to this team for Liberty. Is uh, headed to the bench. Knuffman came in. Knuffman has played some big minutes in this contest. And they'll need him to play some big ones right now. Up by two, length of the court to go for Liberty. Inbounds pass comes to Klingel. In the backcourt to Tenhouse. Now to Knuffman. Back to Tenhouse. Under a minute to play in overtime. 
Canals across the half court line. Gets it to Knuffman. Works the ball to Obert on the right side. You can still foul here and uh, put them at the free throw line if you're central. But they're going to try to play it out, see if they can't get a turnover. How long do you wait, though? 42 seconds to play. Tenhouse to Klingel. Klingel back to Tenhouse. 35 seconds left. Tenhouse dribbling away from the defender in Dikud, and Dikud now will foul him with 31.7 seconds left. Dikud tried to foul when he was out there before. About seven or eight seconds probably ran off the clock after that. Tenhouse shooting. One and one, 44-42, the score Liberty with the two-point lead, 31.7 to go in overtime. Tenhouse's first free throw attempts, and he has no points so far today. And Benzanese eyes the bucket up with the shot. Too long, no good. Rebound comes down to Camp Point Central. Liberty didn't have any rebounders down there. Central's more into the front court, and James Barnett calls the timeout. 25.8 seconds left. It'll be a full timeout. Waning seconds of overtime. Liberty 44, Camp Point Central 42. We're back with the final after this. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, <laughs> so you know what that is. Yeah, oh yeah. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. 25.8 seconds to play in this first overtime. It's a 44-42 advantage for... Liberty on top of Camp Point Central. Central will have the basketball out of bounds on the front court near their bench. On the scorer's table side of this gymnasium at Western Hall. Robbins had gotten up and was in the huddle and then he hobbled back to his spot on the bench. He's still not putting much weight on that ankle. You got that much length of a leg. A twisted ankle is a bad situation, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Central inbounds the ball to Moore in the backcourt. He has 14 points, 12 in the second half. He'll hand the ball off to Wiskirkin. Works to Pabin. Now to Ginnebacher. 15 seconds to play. Central down by two to Moore. Moore will hand it to Pabin, and he's fouled. By Knuffman with 9.9 .9 seconds left, or did they give him the timeout first? A timeout called first. 9.9 .9 seconds left, 44, 42. Eagles on top, back after this. Since 1921, Farmer State Bank of Camp Point has been a vital part of our community's history. We are proud of our growth, our community leadership, and our success, which is only possible because of all those who shared this journey with us. We are grateful to the generations of loyal customers, families, businesses, employees, officers, and directors who have shaped not only our story, but our entire communities. Thank you. We look forward to serving you and your future generations for the next 100 years. Farmer State Bank and Camp Point, together we are a strong United Community. Nine point nine seconds to play in overtime. 44-42. The advantage for Liberty on top of Camp Point Central. Here in overtime. Both teams have a single timeout left. If there's a tie-up, it would go Camp Point Central's way. They need a basket here to tie or take the lead in this contest. Carly, I felt like Knuffman was lucky that he didn't get the foul called on him before the timeout happened. Moore inbounds the ball to Ginnenbacher. Right back to Moore. Down low into a double team. Out of it to Ginnenbacher. Had trouble with the dribble. Works it to Dikut. And a timeout taken by James Barnett. As he didn't like what was going on there. 4.3 seconds left. It's got to be a full timeout. It's his and last. It is his final timeout here. And, John, some sad news from the uh, sports world that uh, John Madden, the Hall of Fame broadcaster and football coach, has passed away at the age of 85. He was a participant as the uh, coach of uh, the Raiders, I believe, in the first two Super Bowls. And, of course, uh, an iconic name when it comes to football and in the gaming world. Of course, with the Madden games on uh, the various... PlayStations, Xboxes of the world, and 
You know, they said the thing about Madden was he had a lot of input, really, in how those games worked, and he didn't just sign off on any kind of product that had to be to his liking, or he said, don't put my name on it. But he passes away at the age of 85, and uh, certainly a legend whose uh, legacy and life will live on. Here, there's 4.3 seconds to play in overtime. Nick Moore will inbound it. Not a lot of time now. Moore looks for an opening, gets it into Diku. Back to, no, Diku takes a three on the way. No good. Got a good look, would not fall. And Liberty survives to advance to the semifinal. 44-42 in overtime. What a contest here. Camp Point Central will come back tomorrow morning and play at 9 a.m. in the fifth and sixth place bracket. And we'll have that contest for you here on Central Illinois Sports. We pause for a break on the Illini Community Hospital post-game show. We'll have final stats and analysis your way after this. Illini Community Hospital is committed to providing high-quality specialty care close to home. We are pleased to welcome Dr. William Severino, urologist, and Dr. Mark Mount, ear, nose, and throat physician, to the consulting physician clinic team at the Castile Center. Specialty care is also provided for orthopedics, cardiology, podiatry, obstetrics, oncology, and more. Learn more by visiting IlliniHospital.org or call 217-285-2113, extension 3950, to schedule an appointment. It's time to say Pepsi, please, at your local county market. Refreshment Services Pepsi and County Market, your best value for delicious drinks to get ready for every game. Stop by your local county market to pick up your favorite Pepsi products today. Stock up for your next family get-together. Refreshment Services Pepsi in County Market for the best price around on all your Pepsi products. You love them and they've got them at County Market. Stop by today and say, Pepsi please, at your local county market. Welcome to the city of Pittsfield, a great place to call home or a great place to visit as a home away from home. With our many locally owned businesses, great variety of restaurants, historic sites and recreational opportunities, there's truly something for everyone. While visiting, make sure to check out Lake Pittsfield for great fishing, boating and camping opportunities and check out the Disc Golf Course. Mayor Gary Mendenhall and the citizens of Pittsfield are excited to see you on your next visit to Pittsfield, Illinois. For all those hardworking diesel engines in combines, tractors, and trucks, Logan Ag recommends PowerMax Premium Diesel Fuel. Logan Ag PowerMax Diesel is packed with multifunctional additives which help clean the fuel system, extend filter life, add lubricity, and restore horsepower. You might even notice reduced fuel consumption. You get it all in Logan PowerMax Premium Diesel. Logan Ag, serving agriculture since 1962. Back with you on the Illini Community Hospital post-game show. Since 1942, Illini Community Hospital has been serving the community with high-quality medical care close to home. Learn more about their services by visiting IlliniHospital.org. Final in this contest in overtime, Liberty moves to 11-1 on the season. They avenge their only loss of the year to Camp Point Central by a 44-42 final here in the overtime period. Liberty led 11-8 after one, then we are tied at every stop. 19 all at half. 29 all after three and 42-42 at the end of regulation. Only two points scored in overtime for Liberty. That's all they needed, though, to win this one and steal the victory 44-42. Eagles finished the day shooting 19 of 39 from the floor, 48.7%. They were three of seven from three and three of six from the free throw line. Logan Robbins led the way with 17 points for Liberty before leaving the game with an injury in overtime. Brighton Klingel with eight. Seven points for Cannon Wolf in the contest. Clayton Obert had six. Reese Knuppen with five. And two points for Devin Klauser in the ballgame. 16 for 41 for this Camp Point Central squad, 39%. They were nine of 19 from three and one of six from the free throw line. They'll, I'm sure, talk about that. You miss five free throws and lose in overtime by uh, two. Ouch. Nick Moore with 14 points, 12 in the second half. Nine for Drew Paben. Isaac Gennenbacher with six. Keaton Dickhood at five. And Dylan Shanholzer with three in the contest for the Panthers. They fall to five and six on the season. And they'll play in the fifth and sixth place bracket tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock against the team that loses this next game between Rockridge and Farmington. Time to name our player of the game. It's presented by Edward Jones Financial Advisor Derek Harris. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes 
received from their coaches, parents, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. And how about the game off the bench for Logan Robbins? 17 points in the contest for Robbins. He also uh, had a pretty good day on the uh, rebound and uh, shot blocking side of things. Really played hard and uh, unfortunately had to leave the contest with that leg injury and we certainly wish him the best as he is a, a very, very important part of this team for Liberty. They'll need him if they hope to win this championship of the 75th Annual Macomb Western Holiday Basketball Tournament. Again, a final in overtime. Liberty with a victory, 44-42. For John Hull, I'm Charlie Hull thanking you for joining us. We're back for after this short break of about an hour and a half as Pittsfield will play Macomb. Game time scheduled around 8 o'clock. We'll